greetings. <laughs> Geraniums. Those are a gift to uh, Mrs. H. And um, ever since we had a holiday in Brittany, in France, uh, in the 90s, these were everywhere popular, so popular over there. And um, we've loved them since, really, the colour and um, so very nice and a lovely gift. Okay, nice relaxing shave. <laughs> we hope. Going to use the um, Boots the Chemist double edged razor, very simple plastic handle, hollow handle, so it's head heavy um, three piece razor. It's the exact same thing as the Gillette 7 o'clock, if you ever want to see one. So you can buy them today if you like, but you can't buy them in Boots the Chemist. Uh, inside that we've got a Nasco blade, second use. There is a lot of overhang on this razor to be aware of, it's non-adjustable. Um, shaving cream is Nivea Mild Shaving Cream, this was sent to me a long long time ago and I use it in little bits and pieces. Um, and I've just put a blob, it's sort of a pinky colour in the um, Captain's, Captain's Choice original shave bowl. Now it smells, it's got that Nivea sort of scent and a soapy scent, like a clean soapy scent. It smells nice from there. I can't remember what it was like, but um, I'm sure it's going to be okay. Brush is this pure badger brush. I bought this many years ago. This is an Omega one. Here we go, straight to it. Good week so far, I hope. Good shaves. Nice weather. <laughs> That's beautiful. Touch the brush in water. And look at this already. Mind you, it's a shaving cream. I expect it to be quick, really. Lovely scent, really nice. There's something, um, wow, there's something palm olive about that too. Wow, that's a shock. Look at this. And that'll do, I think. See you after, peaks. You can always add more water. Which we will do now to the face. Oh, well, I heard um, it was rather sad news. Was uh, the Suffolk shaver Steve is, uh, I think, stopped making videos for now. Oh, for good. I'm not sure with his work commitments, family commitments, and life is busy. Um, so anyway, I don't know if you're going to pop back if you watch the videos, but um, if you pop back now and again, but if you do, it'll be great. Uh, but if you don't, thanks for all you've done and uh, being a part of the wet shaving team, a regular um, uploader of the wet shaving. The Wet Shaving Society. <laughs> so good luck to you, Steve. We're in your family. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I suppose uh, it can look easy when you watch the videos. Week in, week out, but... Uh, you know, it must be hard, especially if you've got children, family like that. So... Uh, Fully understand. For all the best, anyway. Still have good shaves, though, not you? Okay, so here we go. As I say, very head heavy. This very head heavy. As in, that's the balance point. <laughs> there we go. Nice razor this.
nothing fancy. If you're one of those that just don't have none of these bells and whistles, just give me a razor. I just want to get on with it. Thanks a lot. This will do you. Feels very, very good. I like this type of feel to a razor. It's uh, it's a bit more aggressive than the Wilkinson Sword Classic. And um, it's sort of a Gillette type aggression really, but it feels nice. Sort of mid-range. Mild to mid. That's very reminding of a palm olive, this. You know, it's not as strong, but it's there, there's something. Palm olive -y, if there's such a word. Um, did I mention in Sunday that me and Mrs H went on Saturday to uh, on a canoe, a Canadian canoe on a, a lake called Lake Vernwy here in Wales and uh, oh, this is lovely and very nice it was um, stopped and made uh, something to eat and drink inside the lake with a stove lovely nice day out that was that's a good first pass. Very happy with that. Thank you, Nivea. I'll show you that again if you if you can get hold of this. I don't know. I think it was made. Uh, well, it's made in. Was it Germany? Yeah, made in Hamburg. Made in Germany. Yeah. So um, hold it right. That's where it is. So if you can get hold of that. If you can still get it, it's um, there's a hint of palm olive. If you've never tried or can't get palm olive, maybe this would be a funny smell. <laughs> smell. Very actually, it's like the this is like a pinky color, but the palm olive is a greeny color, light green. Just going to go to the tap just slightly. Okay, that. Seen his lordship last week. Still as self-centred as ever. Nobody else matters. <laughs> He's asking for you by the way. Second pass across the growth. Boots the chemist. Double edged razor with overhang to be aware of. See the overhang? I'm still shaving with a very light touch and it does a good job. Mild to medium aggression for me with this blade. Asco blade, very nice, second use. And it feels very nice in this razor. I like the feel, the way the blade's held. Nice and tight, no messing. Which is a nice feeling for a non-expensive razor. As I say, if you look up Gillette 7 o'clock razor, you'll see this exact thing. Probably those that have made for boots when they were making them, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. 
Nice. Good slickness, very good slickness. Lovely scent. As I say, it's got palm olive scent for me, like a fresh, clean, soapy scent, with a hint of that Nivea uh, cream scent. We'll use a bit of um, Yeah, very good slickers. Okay, wet the hands and rub that soap. So it wasting back in. That's lovely. Wow, good slickers. I forgot how you. It's good sometimes keeping a soap so long between uses, and uh, you forget. It's like using a new soap again. <laughs> Well, especially when you've got a collection of the stuff, which many of us have now. <laughs> Addictive. Eh? We'll be all having therapy. How are you doing? Oh, I haven't bought nothing for three weeks now. Well done. <laughs> Doctor's very pleased. And the wife. And the bank manager. <laughs> Right, third pass. Back to the tap, it likes water. And continues to flourish as you can see. Nice brush, soft budget, not use this for a while. So I like to use, give them all a run out. And keep it tidy. Go a bit, really, if you wanted to be clever, you would uh, tidy up like that because I don't shave up there. Right, here we go against the growth down the jawline. Another place you've got to be careful with the overhang is the earlobe there. Doing that and that. You know, as I say, I'm not teaching a dog new tricks. Many people have been shaving for years, many of you. Um, some have come back to it, some are new to it. So this is for people uh, really who are new to it. Um, you know, it's easy to say you won't forget until it happens. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so it's always handy to... Charles from uh, the States has come out of retirement to do his uh, job again and he's enjoying it I think and um, you're saying you don't get time to watch the videos as much and it's like me I don't get time to comment on them now to reply much but uh, I do what I can and anyway thanks for watching and hope works going well for you and he was saying he's keeping some of the videos um, as a sort of learning uh, base for his grandson, if needed. Um, I must admit it would have been nice when I started shaving 
um, to have this sort of platform of shavers on YouTube. It's a uh, Because they're all unique, really. So that's nice. And many of you that's followed me for a while will know against the growth, I don't go directly on the moustache area. It's too, it's even now after years of doing it, it's too sort of uh, tuggy, it's too aggressive if you like. So I come into it sideways first, like that, take the worst off, and then gradually sort of turn up. Takes some getting used to, but it works. So I still get a sort of PBS shave without the uh, irritation or razor burn very nice very very nice there we go what time is it? Six o'clock. Don't get clever. Three, two, one. It's supposed to cut then. It's supposed to cut then. No pickup time. Thank you very much. Forgot to film it. Thank you so much. <coughs> Somebody's standing there with me in case you think I've gone off my head talking to myself. I'll do it myself then. Three, two, one. Pickup time! It wasn't that hard, was it? Sacked. Oh, there they are. Old Dotty's appeared. Pickup time, come on. That's beautiful. Won't be much, it feels a very close shave, this. Non expensive razor. Well, never used to be. Uh, what did I pay for the last one they did? About four pound. Four pound. that edge that's lovely wow beautiful right so rinse off and then we'll hit the thayers Gonna go with the uh, unscented today. As I say, nothing, nothing posh, nothing expensive, but very enjoyable, and does a good job, as you can see. So Thay is unscented. I nearly said Thay is unwitch hazel. Uh, 
Oh, good job we can laugh. Good job we can laugh. So when we're allowed to laugh, actually. Nobody's offended by that soon. Did you laugh then? Yes. Oh, I find it very offensive. We'll all become mutes in the end. We'll be too afraid to speak in case someone's offended. People jump on that bandwagon, don't they? <laughs> Blue Stratos. Hey? Classic. Classic, as they say. Beautiful. And again, not expensive. Oh, that's a. That is something you wore. Remember, I remember <laughs> my brother wearing it, stinking of it, going out. Denims on denims, and. And brute. This and brute. There's a similarity to this and brute. It's that, that era, that, you know. Lovely. I like that. Blue Stratos. High karate, you know. Can't remember that center after. Thought I had some of that. Anyway, Nivea Originals. Don't need a lot. Spread in the hands. And a beautiful combined scent. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Right. That's the hands. I forgot to do a, re a recap in the last video, I'm sure I did. But as I say, if I ever forget, or I don't do it, everything's listed in the description below if you, if you think, you know, what did I use or whatever. So, what did we use? Boots the Chemist double-edged razor. Simple as that. Three-piece, non-adjustable, basic, standard razor. Did the job superbly. Can't get them now, but you can buy the exact razor, which is a Gillette 7 o'clock. Same thing. Head heavy, light plastic handle, hollow. Um, good little razor. Omega Badger brush. Had that many years. This was my best brush at one time. Uh, thrilled to bits with it. Um, you buy as you go, go along, don't you? And this was one of the top end ones for me then. And um, lovely brush. Captain's Choice Original Shave Bowl. That always does a good job. The Nivea Men Mild Shaving Cream. Superb, lovely lather, thick, creamy, works well with plenty of water. Um, the scent is good slickness, good glide. The scent for me, um, even though the soap is a pinky colour, was very sort of palm olive -y. There's something there of palm olive scent. Uh, very good, really nice, but it's also got the Nivea touch as well, the Nivea scent. Uh, this type of scent, if you like, a touch of for my nose. And then we rinsed off with water. We used the Thayer's Unscented Witch Hazel, um, which freshens the palate. And then we've used Blue Stratos, classic aftershave, beautiful stuff. And uh, yeah, then we did use the uh, Nivea Originals, lovely soap. Soap, lovely, try to cut, take two, lovely cream. And that's it. Leave it to it. One of my lights has gone, is it? Oh, it's dimming. The battery's gone. Oh, marvellous. Halfway through a shot. Thank you very much. Can't get the staff. Nobody did pick up time, and now the batteries have gone on holiday. Anyway, didn't stop us having a good time. Even old Dottie there, look. Oh, she's gone holiday. Damn thing. Have a good rest of the week. Have some even better shaves, good health, happy as you can, positive, and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.